So pectus excavatum is a condition of the uh, front of the chest in which there's a depression because the sternum is abnormally close to the spine. It's a problem which is present at birth in perhaps a third of patients, but develops in most around the time of the adolescent growth spurt. And in many of those patients, it becomes much more severe around the time of the adolescent growth spurt. It's very clear in pectus excavatum that uh, a large fraction of patients in our series of, of somewhere around 4,000 pectus patients, we find about two thirds have symptoms. The symptoms are commonly shortness of breath with exertion, easy fatigability, or pain in the chest. So children who develop pectus excavatum when they're toddlers or younger uh, can be treated with the vacuum bell, a suction cup that's placed on the front of the chest. And we want to do that when the chest is very flexible and pliable, which uh, means that it's a good time to start around the beginning of school age. Commonly, though, uh, the depression really isn't noticeable until the patient gets to the pubertal growth spurt, so perhaps around the age of 12, 11, somewhere in there. And uh, symptomatic patients then can present for evaluation to the NUS Center. We use an objective evaluation with three-dimensional imaging, uh, external optical scanning using white light to characterize the shape of the chest, uh, CT scanning or MRI scanning to give a cross-section of the internal organs, pulmonary function testing to see the effect on the lungs, and uh, echocardiogram and EKG, which are done to check the effect on the heart. The uh, evaluation of chest wall patients was developed here at CHKD, and with that evaluation, we don't operate on about half the patients who turn up for evaluation, even though the majority of our patients come from outside our so-called normal service area. So uh, you know that if you send your patient here, they are going to get treatment only if they need treatment, uh, and we try to evaluate very objectively uh, who it is needs w what uh, type of intervention. Pectus carinatum is the medical name for the condition where the sternum or breastbone protrudes abnormally far from the spine. Uh, pectus carinatum is less common than pectus excavatum in the United States, uh, and patients seldom develop pectus carinatum before the time of the growth spurt that happens at puberty, so around age 12 or so. Uh, patients with pectus uh, carinatum uh, complain of problems with uh, exercise and endurance uh, less frequently than patients with pectus excavatum, but it certainly affects uh, carinatum patients as well. Similarly, chest pain can occur at the site of the protrusion in pectus uh, carinatum. In patients with pectus uh, carinatum, uh, we uh, treat patients with a, a staged uh, management. So the first stage of management is to treat the patient with an external brace. About three-fourths of patients treated with the brace have effective treatment, uh, and in those in whom brace treatment isn't effective, we offer surgical treatments, of course. Generally speaking, brace treatment is undertaken uh, around the age of, say, 13 or 14. Uh, I think 14 years is the average age our patients begin treatment with the brace. It generally requires a year to two years of treatment with the brace. After the brace has flattened the chest, there's a recurrence of pectus carinatum in about 5% of patients. So even though we don't require the patient to wear the brace to skeletal maturity, 95% of the time, the chest stays in the uh, corrected position after it's straightened out. So we're happy to see patients with carinatum whenever they're noticed to have the problem, and that typically is, is around age uh, uh, 13 or 14. Um, if it is noticed uh, in a toddler or a younger child, we can see the patient, but children that are that young, very difficult to treat with a brace. It's hard for somebody that small to uh, uh, wear the brace for many hours a day. Our experience with pectus excavatum has been uh, reported uh, several times. Uh, the first report of the first 10 years uh, came out in 1998. In 2008, uh, we reported the uh, next 10 years, and over that 20-year interval, we had treated 1,215 patients. We just had accepted for publication in the top surgical journal, which is Annals of Surgery, a report of the last 10 years uh, of experience with pectus excavatum, which was 1,034 patients. This hospital uh, certainly has 
the largest experience with this problem in the United States, and we uh, continue to look at all aspects of the, of the chest wall problem. So we have looked at uh, lung function, uh, the radiographic evaluation of patients, uh, the uh, psychologic implications of the problem, and have shown that the body image concerns that so many patients have, many of the boys won't take their shirt off to go swimming or to uh, do shirts and skins basketball or whatever, uh, but after operation, they can't wait to get their shirt off and frequently sit up in the hospital ward with no shirt on in bed after they've had their repair.